Okay, well, this is a, an extra DSD lecture. Uh, I, I realized that the uh, review of logic design did not include much on um, SM charts, so I'm going to do this because there's, there's a bunch on the test about SM charts, and I think that's appropriate because SM charts, we do use them in DSD, and uh, you do kind of need to know. So, all right, so here goes. Let me pop up the slides and, and shrink down my picture. Switch it over to the other thing. Oh, sorry, we want to leave it on that. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I do want to shrink it down. And let's see here with that. And then with this. And there we go. Okay. So, okay, so. Um, so another another name for SM charts state machine is uh, well state machine chart or SM chart. Um, they're a little easier to understand than state graphs, I, I guess. I don't know. You could argue that, but it it does kind of resemble a flow chart. It follows strict rules. It has three principal components. The three components one uh, so it's made up of blocks. There's a block for every state. Each block has to have at least one state box, and it can have Decision boxes and conditional output boxes. And that's it. Uh, there's only one entrance path, but there can be a number of exit paths. Generally, the number of exit paths should be the same as for a uh, as for a state graph, where for uh, if you have one no input variables, you should only have one output path. If you have one input variable, you should have two output paths, and so forth. Although there are variations on that. And then the link box, the, the state boxes uh, normally contain the state, the definition of the state, and uh, it also often contains any more outputs. So uh, outputs that would be uh, associated with the states are in the state boxes. Outputs that are mealy outputs are associated with these uh, conditional outputs, and they are they're on a link path. Um, <clears throat> so a path through a block is called a link path. Several link paths can be active at the same time in, in a particular block, but they can but they all have to exit at the same exit point. They can't you can't have multiple exit points going to different places simultaneously active. That's not allowed. Okay, so uh, same thing here. We normally put the uh, the flip flop state encoding up here uh, in numbers, and like if you have A B C, so zero zero one would be A prime B prime C prime. Uh, and uh, if you just have AB, then you just have two digits up here. Uh, usually we do uh, the condition. We put inside the, the condition box. It's usually based on an input. So it would be X. If X is a zero, you take this branch. If it's one, that it takes this branch. Obviously, it could be uh, these branches can be reversed. They're, they're not required to be left and right like this. And then your conditional output box. Normally, uh, if a variable appears, then it's assumed to be one. And if it does not appear, it's assumed to be zero. So, uh, so in the conditional output box, we normally just put Z, and that would be then if that's on the active link path, then Z would be one. If you have another link path active that does not contain Z as a conditional output, then you would assume Z to be zero. Okay, so here's an example. So here's your state box. It's called state S1 and it has two outputs, Z1 and Z2. So Z1 equals one, Z2 equals one. And then we have a decision box, this is X1. So you have an, uh, you have an input X1 and apparently X2 and X3, so three inputs. So you could have, you could have up to eight different uh, outputs. Um, so as we go through X1, uh, Yeah, so as you go through X1, um, you if X1 is a 1, you go this way. If X1 is a 0, you go this way. And notice we have here a conditional output box, Z3 and Z4. So if, if X is 0, then, uh, then Z3 will be a 0. I mean, sorry, Z3 will be a 1, and Z4 will be a 1. Um, here you have a Z5. So if X is 1 and X3 is 0, Z5 will be a 1. Otherwise, Z5 will be 0, 
and otherwise z4 and z3 would also be zeros if you don't have x1 as a zero. And uh, so then you have several uh, output output uh, block boxes there. We normally draw a box around the whole thing, and that represents the blocks. See, I think it says that. Yeah, so that's the block. And then there's one single entrance path. If you have a uh, if you have a situation where you stay in the same node, you must leave the block and re-enter by the single entrance path. All right. So here's a you can have a sort of a parallel or a serial sort of version of the same uh, of the same uh, node. Now this was a little confusing to me because I couldn't see how these could ever possibly be equal. The reason they can be equal is that uh, is that multiple link paths can be active at the same time, and so you can have, uh, so you could have x1 being uh, being uh, we didn't put true and false on. Let's say true is going left here, so x1 could be true, x2 could be true, x3 could be true, and same thing here. So y this link path could be open, this link path could be open, and this link path they could all be open. So you could have z4, z3, z2, just like here, z4, z3, z2. Notice that Z1 is a more output, and it's associated with the state. So whenever you're in S0, you are going to output a Z1. But 4, 3, and 2 are conditional Z outputs, and those would only be one if, in fact, X1 is, uh, goes this direction, and if X2 goes this direction, and if X3 goes this direction. So you could have, you could have some or none of these um, Z4, Z3, Z2, but you will always have Z1 if you're in S0. All right. And again, in this case, all these link paths exit the same uh, output. So you don't have multiple outputs in this particular example. So here's a, here's a, here's a state graph. And here, is a, here it is broken down into an uh, SM chart with colored boxes denoting the state boxes. So notice on this one, uh, if, you, if x is a 1, you stay in this node. But notice you have to leave the state block and come back in that single entrance path here. Uh, and then, uh, and again, the Z sub A, Z sub B, and Z sub Z are more outputs associated with the state box. And Z1 and 2 are melee outputs here. There aren't any melee outputs on these links. So in those, in those cases, everywhere else, except for when you, when you exit here, Z1 would be 0, but here it will be a 1. Or if you exit this way, Z2 will be a 1. But then, of course, Z1 would be a 0. And um, anywhere else, obviously, Z2 would also be a 0. All right. Uh, I'm not going to go through this one, I think. Uh, um, I think I'm going to skip. So um, one, the big advantage of SM charts over state graphs is that, that, that you can basically write down your equations for your flip-flops and your hardware outputs. So that's nice. So let's see how we do the next state equation. So uh, uh, I think it's easier to see, but basically you assign all the state boxes with the flip-flop encoding scheme. And then you identify all states where Q equals 1. So let's say you have, uh, normally we're going to call our flip-flops A and B instead of Q1 and Q2, Q3, and Q4. But, but uh, so, so if you wanted to do the A input, you would identify all states where A where the A encoding for that state is a 1. And then you would find all the link paths into that state, and you would, uh, you would sum up the link paths for all the states where, where A equals 1. It might only be one. There might be a couple. And there might be several paths into each state or just one path into each state. Um, and then you basically, uh, you basically OR all those terms together and simplify it. And that's your, that's your next state equation. All right, let's actually see how we do this. So, so in this case, we uh, we have uh, we have three states: zero, s zero, s one, s two. So, if we want to find the a input, we're going to encode this a b. So, for s zero, it's a prime b prime. For state s one, it's a prime b, and for state s two, it's a b. So, there's only one state where our a input is a one, and that is state s two. So we just have to add up all the paths into state S2, and uh, that will uh, that will then give us um, that'll give us the 
the uh, the the a the d sub a input equation or the next state equation for a. Okay, so so here it is. So a plus is just going to be the path coming in from here, which comes in from state S1. Well, state S1 is A prime B because of its flip-flop coding. And then it, it requires X to be a 1, so it's A prime B X is the term for this path. The term for this path, well, it, that comes from state S2, so that's A B, and again, X is 1, so A B X. So A B a b uh, a prime b x plus a b x so a prime b x plus a b x which obviously simplifies to b x so so the a plus or the d sub a input equation is just b x now how about for b well we have two nodes where the b variable is a one uh, S1 and S2. So we can we know what S1 works out to be. We've already done that. That's just BX. Uh, or you can put these terms if you want. So A prime BX plus ABX. So A prime BX plus ABX. And now we have to add in uh, any paths into S1. Well, there's only one path into S1, and that comes from S0. And that path, uh, so S0 is A prime B prime. X is the path, because X has to be 1. So we add a prime b prime x plus a prime bx plus abx. And if we do that, we can combine these two and get a prime x and these two and get bx. So that's going to be simplified to a prime x plus bx, or x times a prime plus b. Now, the, the outputs are even simpler. All of our more outputs are simply the state. So za is just a prime b prime. zb is just a prime B and ZC is just AB. The more out, the melee outputs are a little harder, uh, but almost as simple. The Z1 is simply going to be when we're in state S2, which is AB, and X is a zero. So Z1 is just going to be equal to ABX prime, and Z2 is just going to be ABX because X is one. And that's all there is to it. Notice there aren't any other melee outputs with these in these other blocks, just in this block. And this is also much more typical, where we have a mixture of more and melee outputs. Okay, so I think that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. Um, you can see uh, the B equals 1 here, and so, um, and the A equals 1 is there. All right. Um, so I think that's, uh, okay, that's it. Yeah, that's really all I wanted to cover. And hopefully that will uh, help you um, in the test tomorrow.